Da, 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 da. Hello there, Criterion 8 here. Number 313, Kiyoshi Okamoto's Kill! I'm wanting to scream that for you know, God knows how long. Kill! Or Kill! Um, part 4 of our Rebel Samurai set. Da, 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 da. 1968, 114 minutes, black woman, all Japanese, blah, blah, blah. So, another one where it is extremely hard to tell what's going on. Um, but. It's got it's the the difference between the first three we saw Rebel Samurai I mean uh, Samurai Rebellion Sword of the Beast Samurai Spy and this one this one in particular has humor to it um, and it's sort of a it's sort of a parody on the samurai genre there are references to earlier movies uh, or other samurai movies throughout the film um, at the beginning. We start with these two kind of bumbling-esque samurai. One who is a samurai who doesn't want to be a samurai. The other one who is a farmer who wants to be a samurai. And they're both, they wander into this dusty town and they're both looking for food. And this other samurai comes in and, and like, gives them food um, or, like, attacks this one guy who tries to attack them or they get in this fight and... They want to be under his leadership and all that, and it reminded me a little bit of the Hidden Fortress, um, where these it's sort of like these two guys who meet a like a stronger samurai, and um, yeah, that's I kind of got that. Um, all, there's a lot of like Western aspects to it. The music is, feels very much Westerny. Um, there's a lot of a lot of just I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's it, there's and again the humor. Um, the fact that you know they're the the way they chase after the this chicken that they're looking for is kind of funny. Um, there's a scene later in the movie where one of the samurai picks up a picks up this um, like ha the roof of this house and puts his uh, his sandal underneath the thing, and he and then he like to like shut everybody up, um, and then he stays there. It was in a it was in a brothel. And in the morning, he wakes up and he tries to pick it up, and it's it doesn't work. He doesn't have the strength anymore. And so yeah, it's, it's just an interest, a lot of interesting humoristic aspects to this movie. And yeah, that's that. I don't really have much to say. I mean, again, the plot is basically about these these two samurai who get involved in clan clashes, and yeah, there's not much else to say. It's a very funny movie. Um, I again, I don't. I mean. I don't think it's the strongest in this set. Of the four in this set, I think my favorite was probably Sword of the Beast because of the storyline and the action. I was, um, and, and again, uh, Samurai Rebellion is proof that you don't need like crazy amounts of action to make a good movie. But just all the action that was in the Sword of the Beast was a a a, a very fresh um, take, or not fresh take, but. A refreshing. It was refreshing to see a lot of action in a Criterion movie. Because of that, I probably like that one the most. Samurai Spy was probably my least favorite. Um, this was probably my third favorite. And then, yes, yeah, so, so ranking the four in the Rebel, Rebel Samurai 60s swordplay classic set. Sword of the Beast, Samurai Rebellion, Kill, Kill, and uh, Samurai Spy. Now, that being said, I still liked all the movies. I still really liked this movie um, because of the humor and because of the action. Um, and I want to get into it. I want to watch it again for the story, you know, to get really get a grasp on the story. But it's hard. It's hard anyway because of the because of the intrigue and because of how, you know, the different clans. And it's hard for me to also remember, like, who's who because of um, Japanese names. I have, I have trouble remembering Japanese names. Um, so because of that, that's also kind of um, kind of struggled with that remembering who's who and who's on each clan, and again remembering their names and when they're talking and when people are using names, it's like oh who are they talk who are they talking about was it somebody I've met already was it somebody that I still have yet to meet, and uh, that's just me and I'm sure there's a lot of people who other people who um, are it's easier to remember names. But for me, it's just, it's tricky, you know. It requires a couple of views. Um, certain movies require a few views. So, um, so yeah, um, that's all I have to say about Kill. Um, I'll give it a, we'll give it a B. We'll give it a B. It's a pretty good movie. Um, um, it's not going to deter me from buying this set. 
I'm definitely still going to buy the Rebel Rebel Samurai set for you know at least for the first two, and and for Kill and Samurai Spy. I mean, I want to watch them all again. So, so Kill Kill B, cool stuff. Supplements. Uh, there's uh, the trailer and a teaser, and that's it. So that's that for that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed my reviews of the Rebel Samurai. I'd recommend picking them all up because it's a fantastical, fantastical set. And I, I was gonna say, oh, I'm so I'm kind of burnt on samurai movies right now, but have, Lord knows we still got one more. Although technically this is kind of a this isn't technically a samurai movie. It's more of a, a le samurai movie. It's a French uh, it's a movie in a career-defining performance. Alan. DeLong plays a contract killer with samurai instincts. So he's not really a samurai, but he's got he's got the mind of a samurai. So anyway, with samurai, we're gonna get to this Sunday, and then um, we may do pickpocket as well on Sunday. I'm not sure. We may may just do a sam. We'll probably do a samurai. Be the only one we do Sunday, and then again, I don't know if we're gonna have time for a review on Monday because of my doctor's appointment. So more than likely. We're going to do uh, Pickpocket on Tuesday, and then Shoot the Piano Player we'll do on Wednesday. And then hopefully, by that point, Ran will be in. Ran will be here, and Tales of Hoffman will be here. Uh, Forbidden Games, I think, is still on its way. And uh, Samurai Rebellion is still on its way. I still would love to see that interview with uh, Kobayashi. I think it's Kobayashi. And, uh, yeah, I still want to do that one to do that for this review, but to no avail. So anyway, we'll tack that on to another, probably La Samurai, because it'll probably be here by Saturday, if it's not here today. And then, um, yeah, and then after that, I think I still got, I got to put a hold on, uh, eventually put a hold on The Bad Sleep Well, and which is another Kurosawa movie. That one's still in print. And a few others. Um, I don't have the list up, so anyway. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, kill, 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 kill! Uh, don't, um, morals, morals. Don't chase after chickens unless you're really, really hungry. I guess, I guess these guys were. Um, and yeah, I won't say anymore because, you know, don't want to spoil it. Not that I could because, again, it's tricky to know what was going on. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on Sunday for or the samurai. And until then, goodbye.